Good morning, dear students of class 9, A, B, and C, all the three sections combined. Uh, since we have already started the virtual uh, mode of class and uh, we have already uploaded two videos. And in that uh, two videos, we have started the exercise that is expansion of binomials in the textbook. It is on page number 55, expansion of binomials. And we have already started the exercise uh, 4a page number 53 page number 57 exercise 4a in that expansion of the binomials uh, what we had derived was the formula of a plus b the whole square and a minus b whole square and from that we had uh, done the formula of addition and the formula of subtraction in in continuation of that let us now try to complete this exercise 4a today since I have given you some home assignments and that was you were to complete up to question number 10. You were to do up to question number 10 from page number 58. And today I will be solving question number 12. So exercise 4a, it is on page number 58 and you have got question number 12. Uh, see the question, if a square minus 3a plus 1 is equal to 0. This is given to you. Alright? a square minus 3a plus 1 equals to 0 and a is not equal to 0. That means the value of a is not 0. You have to find two things. Number 1, uh, to find a plus 1 by a you have to find. Alright? And number 2 you have to find a square plus 1 by a square. So these are the two things that you have to find here. Look at the given. This is the given. In the given, if you look at the left hand side, you have it looks like a quadratic uh, quadratic polynomial equals to you have got 0 in the right hand side. Now since we have to come to the formula, what can we do here? So solution a square minus 3a plus 1 equals to 0. Now you need to think a little bit before we proceed here. Since uh, there is a square here, alright, it is a quadratic, the power is 2, but we do not, requ we require 2 here. But first we have to come to the formula. So what can we do is we can get rid of this 2 by dividing both the side with a. So if you divide both the side by a like this, since it is uh, what you call equation, so we can divide both the sides by a. Now look at each term here. a square divided by a, you will get only a here. Minus a and a gets cancelled. Plus one by a will remain, and on the right hand side, zero by a will remain zero. So now what we can get is this a plus one by a will keep it on the left hand side only, then this minus 3, we will take it to the other side, that is called the transpose, see, minus 3 will go to this side, and when you take the term from left hand side to the right hand side, what is the rule you have to follow, the sign, that is, the sign which is preceding the term will always change, if it is a minus, it will become plus, so therefore what we get here is, a plus 1 by a, will remain here, minus 3 goes to the side and becomes plus 3. So from this now derivation, if you see here, we have already got the value of a plus 1 by a, which is equals to 3. Alright, now if you look at the second one, a square plus 1 by a square, for that, uh, we need to square both the terms. So to find a square plus 1 by a square. So let us try to see that. Uh, we just got the value of a plus 1 by a equals to 3. So let us take that. a plus 1 by a equals to 3. Alright. Now, since in the second part, what we have to find? a square plus 1 by a square. So you can square both the sides. So we can write that as squaring both sides. So when you square both the sides, you take
Okay, so let us take this. Okay, now, so let us take that uh, a plus 1 by a, put in the bracket and square it. Then you go to the side 3, you also have to square it. So now it is quite simple. Here you have to apply the formula that is a plus b the whole square. So last time you have learned the formula a plus b whole square. A is A only here and B is 1 by A. So what is the formula of A plus B the whole square? You should know this by heart. A square plus B square plus 2AB. So A square will remain A square plus B. In place of B you have got 1 by A plus 2 into A into B equals to 3, 3 is a 9. You have to square the right hand side as well. Now, a square plus 1 by a square, because the square of 1 will remain 1. This a and a cancel, 2 1s are 2, equals to 9. Since you have to find a square plus 1 by a square, so this two terms, you will keep it on the left hand side only. Then you have got this plus 2, alright. This plus 2, it has to be moved to the other side, right hand side. So when you move it to the right hand side, again, what rule you have to keep in mind? The sign which is preceding the term will change. So if it is plus, it will become minus when you go to the other side. So therefore, you get a square plus 1 by a square will be 9 minus 2 will become 7. I have skipped one step and directly the answer is there because this plus 2 will become minus 2. So 9 minus 2 will become 7. Okay, so now you have got one uh, last question I'll be solving from this exercise. It is a kind of what problem. You have to read that sentence and you have to convert it into equation. Okay, so let us do question number 16. Uh, this last question from this exercise 4a. So now, please, uh, you refer to your textbook. I will not be writing the questions here. I am reading only the question. Question number 16. Uh, the difference between two positive numbers is 5. And the sum of the squares is 73. Find the product of these numbers. So now here, the first sentence of the question is the given part. What are the things given to you? The difference between two positive numbers is 5. Suppose you take the two positive numbers to be x and y, for example. And what is given there? The difference. So question number 16. Given the difference between the two positive numbers is 5. So this is how the English uh, sentence which is given there, it is converted into the mathematical equation. The difference in terms of, in the language of mathematics is minus, difference between the two to positive numbers. These are the two positive numbers we have taken, is or is, that we will change it into equal to 5, alright. Then the sum of the square, sum we know is plus. Of there means the positive numbers, the sum of the squares is equal to 73. So these are the two things that is given in the first sentence of the question. Now the second part is find the product of these numbers. So we have to find the product of these numbers. The product means the multiplication x into y. This is not given to you. So you have to find the product of these numbers. So this question is also very very easy. Look at the first one, the given, what is on the left hand side, x minus y, what is on the right hand side, 5. So you take that given and you square both the sides, then you apply the formula of a minus b the whole square. So let us see that, x minus y equals to 5, squaring both the sides. So this is given to you. Now what we have done is we have just simply square it. Now, here it is very, very easy. You apply the formula a minus b the whole square. In place of a, you have got your x. Okay, now let us come. In case of a, you have got x 
and in case of B, you have got Y, so it is very, very easy. A square plus B square minus 2AB equals to 5 into 5, that is 25. Now, X square plus Y square, the value is already given to you, that is 73. So if you simply substitute 73 minus 2XY equals to 25. So now, if you see here, this XY is the only unknown term that is left here which we have to find. 73 and 25, they look like like terms. So you have to transpose, that means you have to bring it some like terms to the side and minus 2XY, you take it to that side, so it becomes plus. This now 25 will come here and becomes minus 25. Minus 2XY will go that side and become plus 2XY. So we have just interchanged and kept the like terms together. Subtract this, it is 848. Okay, so after subtracting this. Now what we have got is, uh, 2 x y equals to 48 if you see that 2 is the it is the coefficient in the front of x y is multiplying so if you get rid of this 2 it will go down and cross multiply therefore you get let us come here 2 x y equals to 48 or x y equals to 48 by 2 therefore the value of x y will be 24 so this is the answer so we have come to the end of this uh, end of this what you call exercise. All right. So now uh, you have got the in the next section of this chapter that is called the expansion of the binomials. Uh, we will be doing the cubical expansion now. So far we have done only the expansion of the uh, square. Okay, we have done the expansion of the binomials by squaring it. Now in the next section, you will be doing the cubical expansion. That is A plus B the whole cube, A minus B the whole cube. And that section we will be dealing in the next uh, class or the next video, which I am going to upload it in a few days time. Please uh, complete this exercise 4A. You do it in your exercise class exercise book and keep it ready. Thank you very much.